fractional part of a circle. In your Alex screen, if you were just starting this course and had not yet covered this topic, you would find it here in arithmetic readiness in this green slice. When you mouse over it, it would be in this drop down list of topics. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to show you that you can also find it here as a review topic. And it's the third one down, fractional part of a circle. Here's an example problem. How much of the circle is shaded? Write your answer as a fraction in simplest form. Let's click explain. And so first we figure out how much of the circle is not shaded. And so we need to add these together, but they have unlike denominators. We have a fourth and sevenths. And so we need to find the least common denominator for fourth and sevenths, which is 28. And so one fourth with the common denominator of 28 is 7 28ths and 4 sevenths rewritten with a common denominator of 28 is 16 28 So 7 28 plus 16 28 is 23 28 And so that makes this part that's not shaded 23 28 And we're talking about one whole circle. And so to find the part that's not shaded, I'm sorry, the part that is shaded, we would take one whole circle minus 23 28 and when we're talking about 28 the equivalent fraction for 1 is 28 28 so we have 28 28 for 1 28 minus 23 is 5 and so the part that's shaded is 5 28 because 5 plus 23 is 28 28 or one whole circle so 5 28 is the part of the circle that's shaded. Let's try another one. How much of the circle is shaded? Write your answer as a fraction in simplest form. Here are my notes. Here's the original problem. We have a fraction of 1 7th and 1 3rd in the not shaded part and then there's a shaded part that we need to solve for. So first we need to add the fractions for what is not shaded. Find the least common denominator for sevenths and thirds, rewrite those fractions, and then add them together. And so for one seventh and one thirds, the least common denominator is 21. So seven times what is 21? Well seven times three is 21. So what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. Seven times three is 21, and one times three is three. Three times seven is 21, and one times seven is seven. And now we can add these. Three plus seven is 10. And so for the not shaded part, this is 10 21sts. And so then we need to subtract. I have one whole circle minus this not shaded part is going to give me my answer for the shaded part. And so one whole circle minus 10 21sts is going to give me the answer for the shaded part. One rewritten when I'm talking about 21sts is 21 21sts minus 10 21sts is my answer of 11 21sts is the shaded part. In my Alex screen, type in the answer that I got in my notes, 11 21sts, and click next. And it says that I got the correct answer. Thanks for watching.